So you get your new iPod for Christmas, and then you get a case to protect it so you don't smash it on the ground. Woo. You put the case on, and then, oh no, massive bubble. Don't worry, I'm here to help. I'm here to tell you an easy way to get rid of the massive bubble. So this fix is for OtterBox style cases, not just the OtterBox, but just OtterBox style cases with your little screen protector like this that's built into the case and they have a screen protector right there. So sometimes when you would first get the case and you would take your phone or uh, iPad or whatever and put the screen protector on, you'd click it on and then it would be on your screen but there would be an annoying uh, air pocket or bubble right below the surface of the screen that would distort your view of what you're seeing. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about or you wouldn't be watching this video. So this is how to fix that so that it never comes back again. This is I think the second generation iPod Touch. I put this case on, it had that bubble on it, I did this fix to it and I've never had to do it again and I've never gotten that annoying bubble ever again. So the only things you will need to fix this is a baby powder bottle, just a bottle of baby powder, don't worry, you don't need a baby, and then a cloth or a tissue or something like that. So this is how you fix it. Take your baby powder bottle, mine has a little uh, adjustable opening right here where you can twist it to adjust how much comes out. If you don't have that, that's fine, but what you want to do is make sure it's closed because this stuff gets everywhere. Shake it just a little bit and then twist open the top or screw off the top and then you'll notice that after you shake it up when you squeeze it just a little bit, you might not be able to see it, but baby powder comes out and goes up into the air. So you take your screen protector, put it above the baby powder bottle and just squeeze it like that. If you did it right, you won't even need to use the cloth that you had. Blow it off. You won't be able to see anything on it, but trust me, there's baby powder on it. And then, place it back onto your device, close it up, and you're all set. And There shouldn't be any bubble anymore. And it really is that easy. And if that didn't work for you, then try and squeeze just a little bit more baby powder on and blow some of it off and wipe it off. Try not to completely wipe it off though because having that that thin film of baby powder on the screen is what keeps the bubble away. The one side effect to this, it will not, well, don't take my word completely 100%, but I've had this iPod for about five years, maybe three years, and I did this when I first got it, haven't had any problems. I also did to my iPad, haven't had any problems with that. So the baby powder, unless you dump the baby powder onto the iPhone, iPod, iPad, MP3 player, unless you dump it on, there won't be any harm to your device. The one side effect though is that on your screen protector, you will have a very thin, not very noticeable at all film of baby powder on your screen. I think that is an adequate trade-off for a huge annoying bubble on your screen and I would much rather have the I mean you tell me if you can see well that screen protector is very dirty but you you don't notice it you don't notice the baby powder but you do notice the bubble that's gone now thank you for watching I know some people may be confused about this process um, so I'm here to help if you have any questions or comments send me a message or comment on the video Check out my other videos if you're interested and keep an eye out for my new ones. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks again for watching.